What's up guys, Rare Spark here, and it is that time of week once again, it is time for the Sunday discussion. This time, instead of Call of Duty in the background, I got a random crew game for you. Now this isn't my footage, so shout out to the guy who uploaded this on YouTube. I just wanted to find a basically an unedited crew game, just so I had an unlimited amount of time to talk up until, you know, just so I could have a straight up discussion, you know, so I uh, just found somebody online with a YouTube video of some crew gameplay and I hope you guys enjoy this because uh basically for those of you who might not have seen crew mode this is what it was basically it was two teams in a real gym playing real basketball with real rules and real everything everything you can think of the zone you can run the zone you can run you can run your defense you can run your offense Basically, it had everything that a real-life basketball game has, unlike park mode. So, I just wanted to put out this video just to basically give you guys an idea of what crew mode was for those of you who might not have seen it before. So, this is basically a guy running fives. He had a total of five people on his crew, which is hard to do. A lot of the times when we ran crew with the Nut House or uh, other crews, it was more or less three to four people, sometimes even two. So when you didn't have a full squad it didn't force you to have a full squad unlike cruise mode that they had in uh, old gen 2k14 where they forced you to have five guys if you wanted to play 5v5 they basically in this mode placed computer players from a team of your choice basically you picked a default roster and then you added yourselves to that so it took those guys and placed them on your team so if you see on the other team, they might have a few NBA players because I don't think they had a full squad. Yeah, they have JaVale McGee there, number 34, running around in the black jersey on the right side under the basket right now. So basically, that gave you an idea of how things worked. And basically, people picked probably the team with the biggest center unless they had their own center. My team, the Nuthouse, we like to run two centers. So basically what we would do is have me run center and then either JaVale McGee with his speed or another center at the time. Whatever we were feeling. JaVale McGee was usually a team pick of choice. For whatever reason, he was just a really good computer player. And uh, so that's why we chose him. But yeah, we ran him at the power forward spot, me at the center. And it just made a formidable front court. So this mode was a lot of fun. And it was simply because you had great camaraderie. You played with these guys every day. You all jumped on excited to play because crew mode had unlimited replay value, which is very rare for a game. So 2K really needs to realize that because people are just going to get start getting bored of their games around this time of year. And if they want people to keep playing on their servers, then they need to bring back crew mode because, like I said, without the hackers, this mode had unlimited replay value guaranteed. The only reason some people stopped playing crew mode back in the day was because of the hackers. So that is really the only thing that killed the replay value. Otherwise, if the servers were still on right now, people would still be playing that mode. Even if it never turned off. Like I know people would have a big rush towards it if they put the servers back on today or something like that. But, you know, let's just say they never turned off the 2K11 crew servers. People would still be playing that game three years later. I guarantee it. That is a guarantee on my part. So, basically, I wanted to use the rest of this video after basically explaining to you what crew mode was. And you guys can basically see it with the video as well. But I wanted to discuss possible ideas for crew mode in 2K15 and why I believe they are going to bring it back. Now, the reason I believe they are going to bring it back, whether or not it's this one or the old gen uh, cruise mode that they had last uh, in 2K14 old gen. I don't know, but the thing is, I think they are going to at least bring some iteration of crew back simply because normally they don't say a peep, they don't say a word about crew mode the last couple of years. Even when they were putting crew mode back in, they did not say a word about crew. LD2K and Ronnie2K were basically not even allowed to speak on crew when 2K12 and 2K13 were out. They just did not say anything at all, they did not respond to any crew questions or anything like that and this year during LD2K's streams he has spoke about crew mode and if you saw a previous video that I put out 
probably a while ago. I'll leave a link at the end of this video with the uh, it'll be in the random video description. So I'll have that there for you. Basically, you can check it out. It basically talks about how the lob mob was in a LD2K live stream having a discussion with one of the other chatters, and he's like, basically, crew mode's done. It's not coming back. He was very negative towards it, which is fine because I understand I would be negative towards it too. Or not negative per se. He was more in doubt. He, he thought there was no way that they were going to bring crew mode back. And LD2K took, out, took time out of his stream and just talking to the chat to tell Lob Mob and everybody that if you are looking for crew mode, you're going to be happy next year. Something to that effect. So that's why I believe that the openness that they're talking about crew mode back. Gives me a feeling that they're going to be bringing it back this year. And at least I'm hopeful for it. And, I mean, it's more positive than I've been. The last couple of years, I've kind of been in doubt. So this year, I kind of, with with them talking about it, kind of gives me the sense that the devs maybe were like, okay, we're going to bring crew back this year. So don't be afraid to talk about it because it's something that this year we're going to bring to the fans. So you can, you can get their hopes up a little bit. And so that's why I think... Hopefully crew will be back now Some ideas for crew now. These are a couple ideas that these aren't personally mine These are people who I've talked to Godzilla King Dooms and others Basically, they think that the crew mode should be turned into some type of my team mode With crew this will enable you know 2k to make some money off of it and maybe that way That's the incentive to get 2k to bring crew back because that's what a lot of people feel the reason crew isn't back is because there's no way crew can really make them any money because of the you know there's no you know constant microtransactions like my team has and stuff like that so this is an idea that came up with uh, came up by Godzilla King Dooms and numerous other people that they should kind of put in my team mode where you can buy packs to have your computer players be better kind of like you see where in this video they had JaVale McGee you can open packs to unlock I don't know Patrick Ewing or some other legends or even current players like Dwight Howard and others like that and you can put them on your crew roster to be extras when you don't have a five-man crew squad so that's something that I think 2k could consider but I don't see that happening I think it's way too complicated for them to pull off Although it is possible they do have the code for my team and I could see them somehow working it and tweaking it into crew mode. But I'm not too sure how it'll work. And also you can unlock jerseys and stuff like that. So if you wanted to wear NBA jerseys, you can. And possibly custom jerseys. I'm not sure how custom jerseys would work. But I think it was a good idea. And uh, I think it would be a cool idea to see. But I'm not too sure on if it would actually happen. So... Another idea that I was thinking was that they can possibly make upgrades for your team, you know, cost money. If you want to buy a new, you start off with a default logo that you can choose from. You can buy other logos for VC. You can also buy boosts for a game or something like that to up your three-point rating. Nothing crazy, maybe like five points for the whole squad or something like that. You don't want to have it 10, which you can currently have at the park. You can have 10 plus with the boost so that I think is a little too high to have on crew mode so maybe something like five is the maximum that you can buy in the in terms of boost and uh, you know another idea you can buy different custom jerseys that's something that I feel would really push the value of possibly getting VC bought and crew because people love to customize their jersey so maybe there's this default jersey you can change the colors and all that but there's this default specific jersey because um, in crew back in 2K11, there was, I believe, 11 to 12 custom different kinds of jerseys you can choose from. So maybe make those purchasable through VC and that's some way that 2K can make some money. Um, another idea for crew mode is possibly using the park mode to maybe recruit guys into your crew rather than having park be the main mode. Because... I feel like back in 2K11, they had the blacktop mode, which was called Dropping Games, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. I could be screwing that up with NHL, but they had blacktop pickup games. That's what it was called, I believe, pickup games. And people 
would pick up guys who they felt were good in those games and bring them along onto their crew. All the time, it didn't work out every time because someone could just play an amazing game in a pickup game and then you put them on your crew and they just don't work out. But it's a good way to combine or at least intertwine the two modes of possibly park mode and possible crew mode and just have it as a way of recruiting guys. You can find guys that you play with at the park and be like, yo, you're a really good player. Do you have a crew? If you want, you can join on my squad and jump in. Now, another idea I have for crew mode is a lot based off of the EA Sports Club games. Now, I personally play NHL, and I've played FIFA as well. And NHL is a great model for how to do crew mode. In NHL, you have your club. You also have your guys at each set position as well so each position wise is a different player now this sounds a little crazy but it's not completely crazy now let me explain how it works now let's say you go to the center spot in uh, NHL that guy has his own unique attribute set and everything like that and you have to work your guy up through games and earn your attribute points through games so basically if you play with your center, you can earn it for all your forwards and defenders. And then you can also work those guys up through other positions. So basically, it'll prevent people from having, you know, a center who's playing point guard and he's, or a point guard who's playing center who's 99 speed and just going to blow by the center or something like that. So this would prevent that because if you go to the center spot you're automatically playing as your center if you go to the power forward spot you're playing automatically as your power forward and so on and so forth so I feel like this could be a way to prevent people from making those seven foot small forwards play point guard because if you play the point guard position it's gonna switch to your point guard and this guy will be locked to that position so you cannot switch it up now obviously in basketball it's gonna be a little different you can possibly have it where the point guard and the shooting guard or are interchangeable and the small forward and the power forward are maybe interchangeable and then the center is its single own position kind of like goalie in NHL now another thing about NHL club mode is that I stress and I feel like is important and they should definitely bring over is in NHL at the end of every month they have this cup mode now it's not you know legit where you're actually playing you know to play for a championship but it works because what it is is you have to win four games in a row in the playoffs they call them and if you win four games in a row you earn the banner and for the next month you actually in the introduction of the game actually see a banner getting raised up in all of your home games that say elite playoff champ or basically there's three divisions or four divisions now in the NHL series basically based off your record you play in a certain division which is another thing that I think crew should adopt if it is brought back because it'll prevent you know the major crazy teams to beat up on the smaller teams that don't have enough talent you know I feel like it's a good way to balance out the skill level between teams and also to make for a lot of epic games in crew mode when you're going up against teams that have the similar skill set as you so this is basically what I think crew should do because something like the NHL model really works because I've played it year after year and I'm not someone that truly enjoys hockey now I'm not a huge hockey fan but I truly enjoy the NHL series because of this club mode so I think they should start to possibly take some ideas from that mode and work it into crew mode if it is brought back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Sunday Discussion. And it was basically a crew-focused Sunday discussion. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for more on Monday. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys later. Rare Spark, out. Club mode. What's up guys, Rare Spark, Rare Spark here, and I made this official video to let you guys know that I am officially on Instagram. I finally made an account for my YouTube account, so go ahead and follow that at Rare Spark. And I also made this video to let you guys know that I am on Twitter as well, because I have 